Today I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress blogging system on your own server in five minutes or your money back. Now WordPress is legendary for the ease with which it can be installed. Um, you may have heard something about this five minute installation process and it just doesn't seem possible that a state-of-the-art server-based blogging system with a MySQL database could actually be installed in five minutes. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that it's absolutely true and in fact I'm going to demonstrate for you how easy it is. And after this presentation you'll be able to install WordPress on your own in five minutes. So before we get started though there are a few things we'll need to uh, get together. Uh, the five minute installation doesn't include you pulling together your tools. So before you get started you'll want to have a web browser an FTP program that is set up to connect to the server where you'll be installing WordPress, a text editor, preferably not something like Microsoft Word. You can use Notepad if you're on Windows or some other text editor if you're on Mac. I'll be using TextMate today. You'll need a MySQL database and a way to create a uh, MySQL database um, on your server and I'll be showing you what I'm using today. I'll be using the MySQL uh, Administrator Tool, which is a free program you can download from MySQL.com. And you'll also need the WordPress application, which you can get for free from WordPress.org, and I'll show you how to do that. So, um, let's actually get the ball rolling by heading over to WordPress.org and downloading the program. You'll see here at the top of the screen, get the newest version. I just clicked on that. That takes me to the download page. These big blue buttons over here on the right, you want one of these. Um, I go with the zip because it tends to work on just about any platform. That's an archive um, file. It's been compressed. I'm going to click download. And um, you can see here that is downloading to my desktop. It'll be finished in a second. And there it is on my desktop. It's actually uncompressed. Um, if it doesn't uncompress on your Windows system, you can uncompress it with your uh, whatever sort of unzip tool you use. There's WordPress. Comes in a folder. I'm going to click through to that. And you'll see here is the whole directory of WordPress source files. These are the things that make WordPress do its magic once it gets on your server and it's properly installed. And we need to, before we go any further with this, make changes to one of these files. This wp-config-sample is a sample configuration file. Uh, we'll open that up, take a look in there, and make some changes to it and rename it as well. But before we do that, since that really is part of the installation process, I'm going to pull my timer in here. And now that we've got all of our tools together, I'm going to start the timer and show you that it really is a five minute process. So here we go. Timer's running. So the first thing we want to do, as I was saying, is this wp-config-sample file. You want to do two things to that. One is you want to rename it, take the sample off, and two is you want to open it up, open it up, open it up <laughs> and oh geez I'm running out of time inside you will see um, some lines here that basically tell MySQL how to connect to your database um, this DB user is your database username and this DB password is your password and the DB host is whatever the host name where your database is being hosted. Usually localhost will work. Uh, as well up here you need to enter the name of your database. Once you've uh, made those changes to a manner that is appropriate for your server, um, go ahead and click Save and save that file. Now we don't have a database. I need to create a database. So um, I'm going to use the MySQL administrator 
Um, this is a free tool downloaded from MySQL.com. I'm going to connect to my database server. Move my timer over here. Click the plus button and I am going to create a new database called Xdemo and that adds the database on my server. You see it down there at the bottom. There are no tables in it yet. WordPress will take care of all of that. You'll use whatever tool your service provider uh, provides you with. Usually they have some sort of control panel that you can use. Um, now back to, well let's go to um, Transmit. I'm going to connect to my web server. I've got this uh, xdemo directory on my server. And then over here on my desktop, I'm going to find WordPress. There's my WordPress directory over there on the left. Click through to the www. This is where the uh, web root is on my web server. This is where we put files that we want to show up on the web. I'm going to drag these over with my FTP program and you'll use uh, whatever FTP program you use on your appropriate platform and you'll move the files over, moving them up to the server. So now it's just a matter of time for those files to upload. We're going to go back to our browser. While we wait, Okay, it looks like they're uploaded. I'm going to now, the next step is to, in your web browser, connect to your web address. I'm using a test server, so I have kind of an odd looking address here. It doesn't actually have a .com on it. It's just a server name. And when I, collect, when I connect to my demo server, you see that uh, I get this installation screen. Welcome to WordPress's famous five minute install. Enter your blog title, whatever title you want, and your email address. Oh, type it right. And then you get to choose whether or not you want the search engines to uh, see your blog. Why not? Click install. There you go. Success. I've got now my username has been created by default, admin. My password has been created by default. Go ahead and copy that. You want to make note of that because you want to you want to be able to log in, but then after you've had a chance to log in, you want to change that right away to something that you can remember and something that other people won't be able to figure out. Click on login and there is the WordPress login screen. I'm going to cut and paste that password I was given. And there is a fresh WordPress blog installation. Four minutes and 30 seconds. That was even less than five minutes. When I click on the view site, you'll see that my WordPress blog is up and running. And I've just installed WordPress in under five minutes. I don't have to give you your money back. Uh, it's just that easy. Go ahead, install WordPress on your own server, and have fun.